Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Signal here and welcome back to another video, welcome to some Blue Beetle Soul Raid fight and by the way after this there will be some unrelated fights because I usually post my Soul Raid fights every day and people wouldn't mind seeing those but if you only came for the Blue Beetle fight I'm gonna put this at the start so you can easily find it and if you wanna stay for everything else then you're welcome to and by the way we also killed uh, Herrick7 Mr. Freeze and uh, took a look at the rewards so stay tuned for that but for now in this fight I'm gonna use uh, Blue Beetle this is kind of the build I went with. It's 500% chance with Dark Metal cards equipped, and it's gonna have um, Excel Defense, Crit Chance, Lethal Chance, and Fast Tech Chance. Not sure if all those are necessary yet. Depends a lot on how uh, the uh, second passive works, if those are gonna be flat values or additive values to the value you already have. But I haven't figured that out yet, and I was not gonna change the build in that short of a triumph frame. Uh, Flash here, no particular reason, he's got no gears, just don't mind it, and he's gonna give me plus one fast tech hit, because uh, Blue Beetle needs fast tech hits, and Brainiac is just gonna buff him a bit overall, give him, him a bit of everything. Wanna go a bit more light this time, because there's a lot of things you're gonna be able to do with Blue Beetle. For example, because he's gonna get all the way up to 500% damage buff, he's gonna do 2 billion damage with Raven and Twin Blades. Twin Blade Blue Beetle plus Raven, I guarantee it, it's gonna hit 2 billion damage. But I wanna start it on a lighter note and see how he does without that much help. Though he's got very high passive stat artifacts. And after this we can do all the other stuff, like trying... I'm not even gonna try to stack the Brainiac passive, because I wanna get Blue Beetle fully stacked. And that kind of requires him to be constantly in the fight. You should do absolutely nothing at the start of the fight, but combo and drop him, the enemy. Maybe get one fast tech hit as soon as you can with the third special. Okay, so I did this to get one additional fast stack. And, oh, I hate that. That backs you away from... Look at him doing an infinite combo on me. Yeah, the third special is kind of awful. It backs you away from the enemy when he's in the corner, just to the point where he feels like, Oh, this man is too far away, I'm gonna try a jump attack instead. You might see that we, grow some, uh, we grew some pretty interesting hands there. We should be able to tank, there's no problem, no reason to tag out, just waste of time. Not sure if I got all the evolutions. Oh, this gives me plus 3, which means it's 1 base plus and plus 1 for each evolution, so we're at 2 evolutions. There's something else that needs to transform. Come on, get close. Might as well do this. Oh, do I already did it? There's not much of a point in doing it again. Plus three again. Bro, how? Is the third evolution bugged? Because... No, I feel like now we're in the third evolution because we also got like uh, some lightning effects throughout the body of Blue Beetle. And now let's do super move. This should increase our fast attack damage by a lot. Now we just combo and drop. Yeah, something I should have done and I forgot, but now there's not much of a point in doing it. It's kind of too late. Is use always use special one at the start of the fights because it will change your class, so you have a class advantage here against the enemy. And I do this to get one additional fast stack hit. Really wish that wouldn't back you away too much from the enemy. But it does, and it's annoying. Okay, how much was this? 440! Okay, look! 
look, hear me out here. You see this and you might think, oh, that's a very far from tubely and damaged sick vault. It's not bad. It's not good. But that's actually pretty goddamn good for a character with what I did here. Because the only thing that was high was the passive stats that he had from the artifacts. But this is most likely not the most optimal thing with him. And you have a lot of other options to pair him up. We have Raven. It's only a 3-star Blue Beetles. And at higher star ratings, you should, hear that, you should see that peak performance damage at the end a lot sooner. And honestly, he seems to be something that's similar to Manta. But seems to be quite a lot stronger than Manta. I don't have Manta any longer available because I would have loved to do a comparison fight using this same artifact, though I couldn't have used the same team anyway. But he seems to be Manta, but better, to put things short. Uh, we'll, we'll talk a bit more about this as other people try him. I see more gameplay of him, I get to play him more. But for now, he seems good, but he seems like a character that will need quite a bit of investment to get to a point where he's actually insanely good. And the problem with that is... If you need a partner for Raven to do 2 billion damage with Twin Blade, because he's definitely going to be able to do that, at least you have King, which is a lot cheaper to get and manage. But yeah, he seems promising. That's all I'm going to say for now. He seems promising. He really seems promising. And I, I would tell you if I felt like he was garbage, because I was honest with Constantine. But he definitely seems promising. It seems like he gets a lot faster... Uh, to the point where Constantine is towards the end of the fight when his passive is fully active and he's got maxed out damage against the enemy. But yeah, he seems pretty decent, pretty solid. We're gonna we're gonna have to wait and see more gameplay of him, but so far that's my opinion. Though yet again, I don't think it's a character that you should rush towards getting, and I don't think it's gonna change your sorry experience by a huge amount to the point where you should rush to this over anything else. Can use a 10 over here with a Puppet, Mr. Freeze with Beta Club, and the Vixen in there to hold some passives. That's mostly his. She's not gonna do that much for us, but why not drop her in there? And Boss Pet then should definitely not be a problem for Beta Club, Mr. Freeze plus a Tana. He's, he's, got, he's got no health to stand the chance to survive this. Okay, let's try and get some Zatanna stacks. Got the free special one, that's great. And got infinite power already. That's nice though, the beta club will expire in a second, so I'm not sure for how long that's gonna last. This would be a good time to also start applying the special dudes. Oh, there we go, we got power back. As I reapply the beta club negative effects. Jump attack in there. Another jump attack as I didn't really like the damage on that one. Oh, he jumped out of it. Okay, this is fine. Just be careful not to lose the uh, Zatanna infinite power. Keep spamming, spamming this. No longer deal percentage all damage or apply negative effects, but we can apply damage against targets from the puppets. I mean, we do apply the damage effect. So what I wanted to say is that so we no longer apply damage buff. Well, can I get a good jump attack in there? There we go, that's better. Also, I keep messing up something. It's frozen, jump attack, and another special two. Right before the can attacks in. Because what we want is to break him out of freeze with Zatanna and have him back frozen before Mr. Freeze tags back in. There we go, that's perfect. That's what we want to see. That was bad. This was better. Okay. Buddy, get back. Get 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 back in the goddamn freezing area, buddy. What are you doing? Okay, 21, that's fine. Keep spamming the third special. Yeah, now we really got in the tempo of the gameplay. But yeah, this was a rather 
bad Mr. Freeze at Tana Fighter. They didn't really go bad. I kind of played it bad, I don't know. But yeah, this thing can easily get 2 billion damage, but in this fight it could not have gotten that much. So my bad, I guess. Yeah, let's uh, let's see what Mr. Freeze can do. And the answer is nothing, because I'm going to use Batman in the Drowns. Here we're going to clear Aquaman, because uh, I messed up yesterday with the Manta fight. And I'm going to use Joker Ice Batterings on Manta. Gonna use Thermal Gloves here, and gonna use another Snow Globe here, so let's get this over with. Should be fairly easy, I don't think he'll even get to use his super move. We'll see. Nah, he'll get to use super move. Attack Bane in there. Oh, that actually killed him. I cough a bit. Did I lose the stacks? Yeah, looks like I did. But it's okay. We're gonna get them back in no time. Our third special war at 100 stacks, and that's gonna be it for Aquaman. Let's move on. Okay, so against Mr. Freeze, I'm gonna use uh, my boy Robin King here with uh, Thermal Gloves, Batman in the Drowned with God Killer, and Drone Stroker Lantern with North Snow Globe. And yeah, let's get this going. Could use Poppet on Robin King, it's kind of the same thing. Poppet is gonna give me a bit more damage, maybe, but then the Thermal Gloves. The Thermal Gloves gives me a ton of attack too. But the Burning is not gonna necessarily be something that's like always active. And we mainly need Burning to stop him from doing bombardments. Robin King is very good with puppets, but he doesn't really need puppet to function, so that's gonna be fine too. My bad, I messed up the combo interruption there. Let's apply the special one again. So Batman Drunk gets to stack a bit faster. Oh! Okay, I got frozen. Yeah, I didn't tag Robin King in for a while. And the Thermal Gloves burn had expired, so my bad, I guess. But yeah, the uh, red thing on the ground appeared kind of at the same time as... Um, I triggered the passive, and I got the... Uh, Let's call it uh, pink towards purple sting from Robin King. So I thought it was that, but I was like, oh, that's a different animation. What's that? But yeah, we killed him. Let's take a look at the rewards. Oh, wow. I got some breakable cyborg. That's that's great. Over here, I'm going to use the League of Arnica to kill boss Joker. And I have Thermal Glove to level 7 Brother Batman. There's no Globe on EPI. And then Dark Null cards on Harley. And yeah, let's get this going. I think I definitely have enough passive stats here to no longer need to use Puppet. And I have like a guaranteed kill every time. So the gameplay is more or less the same, you're just not gonna be, gonna be seeming, seeing me using two special twos for tagging with Sprout or Batman at any point. Because that was kind of a Puppet specific mechanic. Yeah, this is definitely pretty good damage. We should be able to kill this no problem. And 
And here I can try to not let him do super move, because even if I get hit, Harley definitely survives. So no worries in that regard. Okay, we are at 1 minute 30, which is the half point of the fight, and we dealt more than half his health. That, generally speaking, means you're gonna kill him, because in the first half you're gonna deal a lot less damage than in the second half. Depends, as far as the reason goes, depends on the team. For example, for the Harley team, is that we saved up so much time for super move. Okay, a few more tagins should do. My bad there. Oh, hold on, since we get super move going. No. No. Right, I was I was just telling my cat to not to not jump on the mosquito cover on the window. Because I opened the window so he doesn't zoom around and disturb me from playing the video. They have like a camera on the phone that's watching him. He's being quite annoying right now. Not gonna lie, quite annoying. We got one more fight, but I'm gonna be right back. They need to I need to teach him a lesson, you know what I mean? Okay, I got him, but he he really doesn't like to be held, so that, that in itself is kind of a lesson, kind of a way to tell him you made a little bit of a mistake. He hates being held and he hates he hates everything that's not him coming over to you of his own volition to be uh, to, to be petted. He hates, he hates any, any other way of showing love unless he comes to you and he's like, oh, pet me. Uh, but yeah, let's move on. And for last fight of this uh, today, of this video and of this soul raid, because it's going to be gone by tomorrow, I'm going to use Raven with um, Sword of Sin, I'm going to use King with Beta Club. I'm gonna use Power Girl with uh, Nora Snow Globe, and so we're gonna take on. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I almost forgot about that. Aquaman. Okay, so what do we do here? Twin Blade should be fine, though it's gonna be a bit of an annoying fight to fight with Twin Blades. I'm not sure I got the passive stats because I only have a level 10 or a snow globe, but we'll see how that goes. If I don't, she's just not gonna die. She's gonna come back to full health on the next soul rate. But yeah, let's see how this goes. Okay, we applied Sword of Sin. That's gonna constantly power drain her. Point of Sword of Sin is not having to deal with her shields, which is very annoying to deal with. I need to get the king stack still. Oh boy, I have to adjust my share position because the bait club fight, that would not have been a problem. But here, here we need some proper gameplay. Though I'm using, I'm doing a lot of those special ones with Raven trying my luck here. But she could have super shielded. So I'm not going to wait around for her to use her special. Okay, back off a bit. The power steal on Raven's basics definitely helps. Okay, King's starting to deal some decent amount of damage. Might as well get the king's super move out of the way. The 
You can kind of combo and chop her after two hits. Okay, the the lock ran out. Ran out. Though we managed to still reach the darkness, so I don't care. Should really not extend the King Tagons here because we're doing very well. Yeah, this should be enough. Even back in, no trouble with the shields. Okay, now I'm gonna stay more with King in the fights. I messed up. It's fine though. No, I messed up the combo interruption there. Well, Rip, we're not gonna kill one room and he's gonna come back with full health. Next soul raids. My bad here. We have played this better. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Like it if you liked it, dislike if you liked it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye!